God. <laughs> you think I'd be able to find someone without having to resort to a bloody lonely art set? <sighs> I mean, I'm bright, I'm well off, I, I'm not unattractive. <sighs> well, maybe I should just stick with Frank. No, no, Frank's not the answer, and you know he isn't. Especially if you want to have kids. Karen, who said anything about... Don't deny it. Now look, look. There's no point in mucking around with a married man. If you want the whole package, you've got to go out there and, and you've got to just find somebody who's eligible. Now, the odds are he's not going to just knock on your office door, so why not the lonely hearts? Oh, I don't know. I'm just not sure that I'm ready yet. Oh, yeah, like you can really afford to wait. Oh, oh thanks very much. God, now you sound like Mandy. All I'm saying is the fact that you've placed the ad means that you're more ready than you think. <sighs> I'm sorry. What for? Oh, for the self-obsession. I am trying to kick it, you know. <laughs> Look, enough about me. How are you? How are things? Oh, um, you know, much the same. Chris! I'm not all right. You've got to come home. <laughs> Thanks, love. So how are you going to celebrate? Pop up the club for a drink, I expect. Oh, I meant to tell you. We met a couple up there last week. Just moved in. You know what your dad's like. Told them all about you being a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, it turns out their boy teaches at your school. Oh. What was his name? Shearer. Scholes. That's it, Scholes. Do you know him? Yes, yes, it's Richard Scholes. He teaches science. Scientist. He'll be at the club with them later. Well, actually, I was going to suggest that we go out for a meal. It'll be my treat. Um, there's a new Italian up on the high street. No, love, you've got better things to do with your money than waste it on us. We'd just be as happy up at the club. Come with us. Keep your friend company. Well, anyway, you know your dad's not keen on pasta. It, it, he's not my friend, and, and really, an evening with Dick Scholes is about the last thing I want. I saw that friend of yours a few days ago, Chris. Oh, where? When I was driving back from the hospital. She didn't see me. Has she done any more about finding herself a flat? Only it can't be very comfy for her on that sofa of yours. Well, One might be enough for my back. I don't think she minds. She probably likes the company. Still, it can't be very nice for you, can it? Having your living room taken up like that. Especially if you want to invite friends back or bring a young man home. Those sofas, they're not no, made Mum, for... Mum, th th there's something that I, I need to tell you. Both of you. Um, um, there's nothing wrong, is there? No, it's about, it's about Chris. Um... Chris, she doesn't sleep on the sofa. You haven't gone and got one of them futon things, have you? Cos I've read somewhere they can cause terrible... No, things. Mum, I haven't got a futon. 
Chris sleeps in my bed. So where do you sleep? Oh, Christ, where do you think? Chris and I sleep together. Chris is my partner. I'm a lesbian. And, and Chris... She's my partner. What on earth are you talking about? Lesbian. What kind of bloody nonsense is that? No, it's not nonsense, Mum. It's what I am and I've been trying... Dad? Dad? Dad, please. 